So、uh, BTS is already widely great phenomenon、uh, coming from Korea. And, you know, in Japan, there are many、uh, you know, discussions, conversations about the differences between、uh, the Korean pop idols and the Japanese pop idols. And one of the differences, you know, I think, is that、uh, the Korean pop idols are you know, seeking perfection in their songs and dances and so on. Whereas、uh, Japanese、uh, idol groups,、uh, such as AKB48, Or the Janis、uh, boys groups、uh, have traditionally、um, you know, characterized by、um, you know, kind of sharing the story of growing together with the fans. So that perfection、uh, has not been you know, really,、uh, in particular,、um, on the agenda of、uh, the values that they pursue. So you know, when you sing, when you dance,、uh, you, know, you can. Sometimes be clumsy and you can sometimes be not well doing so much、uh, when you know, you're dealing with Japanese pop groups. And that has been actually、uh, appreciated by Japanese fans because Japan is a country、uh, very much focused on、uh, childhood. You know, we have Hayao Miyazaki films and we have a lot of manga and anime、uh, works. And the common theme of these works have been. That、uh, they grow together, like the Shonen Jump manga.、Uh, you know,、uh, the idea is that the protagonist might start as immature, inexperienced、um, you know, young ones, and they grow、uh, gradually through experiencing、uh, difficulties and you know, overcoming challenges together、uh, through friendship and. Collaboration and serendipities and so on. That has been the ethos of Japanese youth culture. So, accordingly,、uh, Japanese、uh, idol groups,、um, boys groups, girls groups, they, are, they have been you know, not so、uh, great on being perfect in singing and dancing, but more you know, forthcoming in terms of the emotion, passion. Eagerness and so on that、uh, they could share with the fans. So it's quite interesting this difference between the Japanese and the Korean uh, idol uh, cultures. And、uh, for the moment, it appears that the Korean concept of perfection and being sophisticated and so on is dominating the world market, including the United States, which is a great thing. But at the same time,、um, you know, I I'm wondering whether the Japanese approach of sharing the story of growth together might、uh, have some you know, relevance to the world today. Because you know, we are all imperfect and we are all growing together. And that should have a place in your heart too. So I think that's a really interesting com- comparison. And it is an you know, ongoing story. So, you know. I'm watching with uh, uh, acute interest.